Right, welcome back to something a little bit different with our Russian MRE pack. And this is what we're going to have for the lunch meal out of the pack. We've got uh, mashed potato and onions, and then we've got some crackers, we've got a chocolate, there's some salt and pepper, there's a wet wipe, we've got a, a sweet and a mint, breath mint, and that seems to be an isotonic drink, we think, according to the translation. And this is with some rainbow sugar drops and sprinkles, a cappuccino. So first things first, let's grab the meal, because that needs time to reconstitute. That is, oh, that's very yellow. That's a smell. It smells like uh, mm, onion, onion soup. <laughs> onion soup. Yeah, okay. onion soup. We've got a spork. This was from, where was this from? The other mm. packet. Yeah, South African. Yeah, from the from the Sanrak packet. Is it Sanrak? Yeah, Sanrak. Oh, this is outdoor in the back. There we go. Let's take a look at that as well. Put that to one side. Alright, so we can see in here little bits of onion. Dry plant matter, onion, some herbs. Could be some meat. Don't know. I didn't, didn't, didn't see anything. It's hard to read the ingredients on there. But we're going to grab uh, 250 mils of hot water. This time it is exactly 250 mils of hot water because that's what the packet says it needs. Oh, that looks like fried onion, yeah. It's like nicely fried onion. I'll get a plate now. Smash. Yeah, stir that through very nicely, get everything nice and wet. Smash. Yeah, smash, but it's really much better than the run-of-the-mill smash you get in the shop. You can smell, it's a lot better. I think a little bit more water. Yeah, I think this is going to need some more water. 250 moles is a little bit on the anemic side. Let's just add a little bit. Just a little bit. Well, this thickens up very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, if you're trying to make this in the packet, you're going to have a problem. Because your packet is big enough. Well, for one, yes, this bulks up a lot. And I don't think that you're going to get liquid to all of the ingredient because you're not going to be able to get enough water in there so you're going to have stuff at the bottom of the packet that's still powder that's going to be terrible okay, it's still very thick put nearly a, 150 ml, mils of water into this mm -hmm. and it's still just lapping it up no, an extra 150, more or less, by a rough estimate. Okay, that's looking a bit better. Should we get that liquid in there? Okay, so I'm gonna. Ooh, hot. That's hot. I'm gonna borrow a teaspoon. <laughs> Take that off. Give me a teaspoon. Okay, let's just smooth that off there a little bit. Get the plate over this. Test. Mm. How's that taste? Onion. Onion. Mm. <laughs> oh. Get the plate over. Get the plate over this way. Okay. And we'll let that stand and reconstitute. Mm. What's next? That does taste nice. I think that's going to go really nice with the crackers. Okay. You can put some peanut butter on the crackers too. Peanut butter always goes good with crackers. Yeah, but there's no peanut butter in the packet. 
Oh, there's peanut butter over there. I know there's peanut butter over there. Oh, it's peanut um, butter over there. All right, so let's take a look at this. So this is either an isotonic drink or it is sort of like a cacao drink type of thing. It's a tonic. There's a tonic on there, but I mean, can't really trust the translation Crystal? so much. Crystal? It's still the the you can see the coloring of this it makes it really difficult to get the translation done. And this has got no edges. No, no tear, tra tear tabs or strips or anything like that. I'm gonna have to cut that one. Don't you want to use? No, don't you want to use this scissor? Cut your fingers. No, I won't cut my fingers. Mm -hmm. At least not this time. Oh. Okay. Oh Lemon. yeah, that's lemon. Mmm. Mmm, pretty. Take a look at that. That's definitely some type of uh, isotonic sports drink. So that crystallized. crystallized a little bit. I soft that down there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just spoon. Yeah, but generally for me with this kind of stuff, I'll, I'll prefer to have more water with it than if it's too syrupy, don't like it. Very yellow. Very yellow. No, no, I didn't just pee in the cup, okay? <laughs> I, I, know, I know you lot. I know you lot. Someone's going to comment in the comments that I just, you know, Okay, that is a lemon electrolytes sports drink. It's almost, it's almost clear. It shouldn't be clear. It, no, these are usually clear. These are usually quite clear. Just it's it's clear. like um, like game or Energade. Uh, I suppose Gatorade or the I don't know what Gatorade actually looks like. I only seen it in the movies. But yeah, so your general isotonic there, it's a lot clearer now. Okay. The cure is the more stuff has dissolved. Nice is good. Yes. I want your cappuccino so it tastes lemony. Mmm. Lemony cappuccino? It actually sounds quite nice. Mm. Lemony cappuccino? Mmm. <laughs> tastes good? Sweet. Yeah, it's, it's a lot uh, clearer now. Sweet? Mm. Quite a bit of sugar. Not too syrupy. Mm. Very nice. Mm. That is lemon flavored. <laughs> My wife likes it. It's a bit weak though. But... Okay. That's got a tear on it. Lovely, I love that. Okay, got a little bit stuck there by the pleat. That's nice. Mm. Milk powder, coffee. Chocolate. Mm. Mm. Quite. Right, let's put that in here. Take the sprinkles. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get the sprinkles now. Sprinkles are glued on. Don't break the packet. I'm trying not to. <laughs> Some serious Russian horse glue going on there. You must put it over when you're done. All right, so let's grab some hot water. Actually, let's leave that there. I'll take the hot water like this. Alright. 
places. Stir it vigorously to allow the foaming agent to get to work. I don't know, maybe it's a Russian thing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This one is not cooperating again. Okay. Rainbow sprinkles. Because that's what every Russian drinks in his manly drink. Russian soldier drinks in his expeditionary Russian bag. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> eh? comrade. Okay, um, now this probably doesn't need any sugar. Because of the sprinkles? Yeah. You're messed. Oh, it's just a little bit of water. Can I have some? Of course you can. Alright, now this does, it does need a little bit of sugar. A little bit on the bitter side. It's fine. Um, mm. Bitter sugar from the pack. That's alright. I can live with that. It's like really strong coffee. Okay. Alright, so the mash should be ready now. Let's see. Nice, good consistency. Just want to make sure I've got all the powder. Looks like it. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to grab a cracker. Cracker! Come here, cracker! Uh -oh. <laughs> Alright. Mash on a cracker, and here we go. a very nice fried onion flavor to it so if you're not into onions or fried onions then you might not like this but it's got a nice uh, herby flavor as well it's like carrot could be a little bit of carrot in there yeah it's always carrot mm. just like peas it's always peas even if you haven't had peas it's always corn. peas and carrot and corn corn there's always corn no matter doesn't matter if you haven't eaten corn in six months there's always corn it's <laughs> mist again. It's nice. Mm. 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 Can I speak? Right. Um, we have a little bit to um, to my son. He enjoyed it, and uh, apparently even the cat enjoys the, the mashed potato. You give the um, it's a model to try because the the supper meal is a noodle soup uh, some of these things are just not set up for easy opening if you don't have a knife on you in the field and i'm not sure how you're going to get this stuff oh, it looks more like barbecue it's very thick very dark red tomato sauce Tomato sauce is not this color. Maybe this is a ketchup. Make some about tomato sauce. Wanna try? Put it in the plate. Yeah, this sounds like a ketchup. Or this or the taste sounds. This tastes like a ketchup. More vinegar. It's just some uh, good old South African KFC tomato sauce. <laughs> And just to give you a bit of a comparison. It's almost the same color. No, the consistency is different. You can see that one, that one's a lot Redder. lighter. 
that's a lot darker. And oh, this is obviously more pureed, much more vinegary than that one. They don't give you a lot, it's just a little bit. I thought I'd just give it a taste with the uh, mashed potato. That's actually quite nice. Gives a nice little edge to it. More like a, a barbecue. Almost barbecue ish, yeah. Mm. Not bad. I think it actually goes very well with the mashed potato. Okay. Mm. Alright. So that's that for the main meal. Snack, snack, snack. Chocolate. Got some Russian chocolate. 25 grams. Wrapped in a nice foil lining. Mm. Looks like it's bloomed a little bit. It does look like it's bloomed. Yeah, that's definitely bloomed. You see, what we're referring to by the blooming is you can see how the fat has like leached it. out. In there. And that's. Wife is eager for the chocolate. Very <laughs> cocoa Mmm, lots of very, very strong. Cacao mm. smell to it. Like a dog chocolate. Mmm. Not very sweet. It's not very hard. Very Crumbles sweet. easily. But very bitter. This is 72% cacao, mm. according to the. to the packaging. Mm -hmm. So that would be a, that would definitely be a, a dark chocolate. Not bad. Mm. Nice. Very nice. Going to share that with the rest of the family. So this looks like some kind of berry, berry sweet. Is it hot? Should we? Yeah, it does. Oh. Oopsie daisy. That would be me bumping something over. Yes. Don't put the finger underneath the knife. Yeah, yeah, so that's a hard candy. Jenny inside. Is that soft? No, that's that's candy. That's hard. Hmm. That's got like a what is that? Um, what the hell is berry? Mm. It's definitely a type of berry. Oh, I know the flavor, I just can't come with the name mm. right now. Mm, the mint. Oh, the, the mint. It's got some. There we go, it's coming up now. Just a hard breath mint for after dinner. Peppermint, Tree. spearmint. Tree. Mm. It's got like a gum in, gum in the middle. What? Um, there is the seeds and the raisins, which is fairly self-explanatory. I mean, sultanas. It's just sultana dried grapes and sunflower seeds. And then peanuts. Oh yeah, there's the peanuts as well. Isn't there? That's right. Peanuts is the one. 
you read and check out. So, I mean, if you've, if you've never eaten sunflower seeds or um, sultana raisins, I'm sure you can find them in a store near you. So this is interesting, this has got two, two places where you can rip it open. So we're going to go for the top one. Maybe a deeper bag. Keep the bag to work with. It hasn't quite cleanly opened up. Mm. Hmm. Doesn't it's smell quiet, very right? salted. Oh, June 2020. Okay, <laughs> a little bit of old nuts. Are you sure that's expiry date? No, I think that might be manufacturing date. Old nuts. Old nuts. <laughs> mm. This is dried, slightly roasted, mm, salted. but not very salt. Very, very lightly salted. Mm, nice. Mm. This is not going to make you too thirsty. Mm. That's a nice sized portion just to nibble on. Is that it? And that, as I drink my sprinkled cappuccino, that's it for lunch and we'll catch you next time with supper.